What's up, CK? We are here coming into a very interesting time. After we pass Halloween, after we pass Thanksgiving, we're now looking into Christmas. Uh, in these very interesting times, we're thinking to ourselves, what's Christmas going to look like this year? Where are we going to have our family gatherings? Where are we going to have this? We don't know. The only thing I know right now is if you've been keeping your eye on our local media outlets, including ourselves, there's something going on called the gift. What is the gift? Who is the gift? Why is the gift? I don't know. We have to figure out what this gift is. In fact, we're actually having the unveiling tonight, but I thought we'd bring in the whole army of who's behind the gift. A lot of members of the Miracle May 16th project. Uh, we're going to pop them all up here. Let's see them. We got Brent Wilkin. We got Tim Haskell. We got Anthony Sakachi and Dakota Hodgson, Cassidy Fenton, all members of the gift guys and, and ladies. Thank you for joining me today. Thanks for having thank us. You. Absolutely. Thanks. 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 Appreciate Everything it. since Miracle May 16th project, we've gotten through the summer. Now we're getting to the gloomy spots, but there is a massive ray of sunshine coming close to us coming in December. Um, I just got to ask, how has everyone been doing as we prepare for the Christmas holiday season? Well, that's what hit us, Eric, like uh, was all the cancellations and everybody uh, Labor Day didn't feel like Labor Day. I barely even knew what happened. And then and then not knowing what's going on with Thanksgiving and our family wasn't able to get together. And then when Fanny Vavula saw the uh, Christmas announcements starting to come in of cancellations and reductions, it was basically like we thought the CK citizens would answer the call. And uh, we're not having it. And uh, we think Chatham Kent needs more Christmas spirit than ever, not less. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Yeah, I, you know what? Everything that we do in Chatham, Kent, we, we do it with a massive bang. You can see that from the Miracle May 16th project of how much food we got. So now with this thing called The Gift, there have been a lot of guesses. I've been sitting here twiddling my thumbs like, what is The Gift? What is The Gift? How many organizations are involved and how did this idea come to be? So somebody must have an answer for me. Yeah. <laughs> Does somebody have an answer for me? I don't know. Yeah, go ahead, Tim. You got this one. You want me to take this one? So I, I had a meeting with Brent uh, probably about uh, two months ago, or is it about two months ago, Brent? Or I think it was. Uh, we discussed uh, we discussed how uh, Chatham Goodfellows will look this year um, with the uh, with everything that's happening with COVID. Um, I talked. Uh, I think that we uh, we know that it's going to look very different. Um, we've we've changed a few things that we're going to do this year. We've we've gone virtual for our porch light, uh, basically to uh, try and get our uh, the money that we need to to uh, go ahead with our campaigns. Um, I think it's very important that we uh, step up as a community and uh, and start uh, trying to figure out how we can go about helping our community in these uh, crazy times. Um, as an organization, I think it's uh, important to uh, maybe step up and, and try and work with the, the other organizations out there that uh, that are probably hurting just like us right now. We don't know what's going to come around the corner. Uh, will, will COVID come back? Will uh, will it shut us down? Or uh, can we can we give Chatham Kent a little hope? And I think the gift will give us a lot of hope. Uh, um, just going forward, uh, I, we've done we've done a few things like uh, that we haven't done before uh, in in Christmas uh, program. Like uh, the Chatham Goodfellows, we we've never really worked with other Christmas a agencies like uh, the Salvation Army or Blenheim. I think it's important that uh, we start working together this year more than ever, just so that we can get that get that help out that people need. Um, I think uh, we need to give people hope and, and uh, make sure that they know that we're looking for them and, and, and want to help them. So I think that's about it. I, I, I yeah, just think it's going to be, what, say that again? No, as much as, gonna... oh yeah, no, as we look at, you know, somebody like the big red Santa man and his army of elves, you know, Chan Ken has done pretty much that. We're getting a massive army of organizations, volunteers, uh, putting this together. And again, you know, a lot of things are uh, pretty much under a blanket right now until unless you watch the end of this video, you might figure out what's going to be. Um, it's it's just still a lot of a mystery. So a uh, question I just came up with, you know, if you could use one word, and I would love to hear everybody's input on this. We'll start with Anthony uh, to describe, describe the word, the gift, other than using the gift, what would it be? 
I think uh, my, my word would be collaboration. Uh, I think that would be the best word to summarize is kind of what's uh, going to transpire is just the, the community, community partners getting together and transpiring for, uh, you know, the, the, the greater cause. Um, and uh, the sum is always greater than the parts. That's good. I would love to hear everyone else's uh, one word aside from using the gift. I would say I want to say family. Yeah, I think we come together as a family like we do for Christmas time. And I think family is probably the, the way to go on this one. I, uh, I really think uh, coming together as one uh, is going to be a heck of a heck of a gift, I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, I couldn't agree more with both of those. And I think to me, what summarizes both of those, it's what's inside. I think collaboration, family, this is the stuff that we really care about and what's in all of us in Chatham Kent. So it's just the gift is inside all of us. And when we look inside and we act how we what, how we really want, it is we want to be collaborative. We want to work with each other and we don't want anybody to left behind. So it's not forcing that on us. It's already it's already in there. I think um, mine would be community. There's not really any community out there that's as tight knit um, and just passionate and excited um, like Chatham Kent. So seeing kind of everyone come together for a big event, I think community is just the best word that comes to mind. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take a bit of a different approach um, and say simple. So it's simple to help somebody that's in need and what they're gonna ask of you for the gift is, is simple. You can help a little, you can help a lot. Um, and it's, we're gonna make it easy for each person to participate in whichever way that makes them feel best and whatever works best for them. Um, so it's gonna be easy and simple to help each other um, in a Christmassy spirit. Yeah. Loving all these answers. And it's just, again, making me think more and more about how much work goes into something like this. Obviously the Miracle May 16th project, tons and tons of volunteers. Um, from what it sounds like, there's going to be a bit, bit, bit of a logistical change in this. So I got to ask you, Lays, uh, what is one of your favorite things about organizing an event like this? You know, the Miracle May 16th project was something, one thing. What is going into this? What is going into the gift? Mm -hmm. um, so to answer that question, I wanted to give a little bit of background about me and Cassidy. So we both lived and traveled far away from Chatham Kent for significant portions of our lives and have chosen to come back to CK. Um, so when you think of huge events and, you know, you think of big cities, you think of Toronto's and Ottawa's. Um, but one of my favorite things about organizing an event like this is that it doesn't take a huge city to, to create something big, kind and amazing. Um, and it makes us feel so proud to be from CK. Um, we have so many organizations that are um, used to doing things like this after the May 16th miracle. Um, you know, me and Brent were just talking about this yesterday that, you know, we've got those things in place. It's going to be smooth sailing to get it all happening. And uh, if CK can show up like they did last time, um, we're going to be super successful and give lots to lots of people. Yeah. Um, so just kind of building on what Dakota said, um, living away from here in different cities, you don't really have that sense of community that exists in Chatham Kent. Um, so my favorite part in just helping to organize the May 16th miracle and this event kind of going forward is just seeing how our community is able to come together in a time of need um, and just how excited and willing people are to help others and the joy that it brings them. Um, I remember with the last event, you could just feel the energy in the city leading up to the big day. And then on the day, it's like everyone was just so excited and ready for it. Um, yeah, so just growing up here, we've kind of always known that CK was this tight community, but seeing events like this, it really kind of drives that thought home and just makes us super excited and lets us get part of CK. Um, so yeah, I think my favorite part is definitely just seeing the passion and excitement that people in our community have for helping others. I think that's well said. I think just with the amount of no events going on in the summer, and then you brought the Miracle May 16th project, uh, you know, now we hear Santa Claus parades aren't coming out. You guys are going to be our new Santa Claus parade. Santa is coming in a whole new different way um, with this thing called the gift. And uh, shortly, we're going to find out, uh, ladies and gentlemen, what the gift is uh, tonight. Actually, as today, actually, as we recorded this, uh, we had a super secret media meeting that uh, today, as now as you watch it, you'll find out what it is. So um, 
lots and lots of work going into it. So thank you all for what you've been doing to bring this together. Um, I would love to hear some closing remarks from everyone as we close up. Is there anything that you would all like to add before we unveil the gift to Chatham Kent? We need more. We need even more people this time. We that one mistake we made last time was uh, we won't, we we didn't have enough Dagan Mountain to move. The, there was more people that wanted to help. There, we realized how big the need was, and but we also realized how many people in Chatham can't want to help. So that is our prime mission this time: is anybody that wants to volunteer, anybody that wants to be a captain, anybody that wants to be on the CK leadership team. <clears throat> Let's donate. Like Dakota said, it's going to be simple and easy. Just raise your hand, and there's a place for you here somewhere. Uh, we need everybody. Mm -hmm. I would say that there's just there's so many people around the holidays that need our help, and you know, if you would never hesitate if it was your neighbor that needed a little bit of help around the holidays, you would you know do anything to help the people around you that you know, but participating in the gifts, like Brent said, in any way, shape or form, um, is giving to your neighbor. It's not this huge organization that's spreading out, you know, the fundraising for a whole country. It's everything that happens here is staying in CK um, and it's your neighbors. So your neighbors need help and if we show up, um, we'll be able to help all the people that live on your street, that live in your community um, and give them a Christmas gift. I think the uh, biggest thing that we're going to learn from the gift is that uh, Chatham Kent always steps up uh, for for Chatham. You, 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 like with I, with me being with the Chatham Goodfellas, I've been with them for over forty one years. Um, I remember every time that we get uh, our our Christmas program started, you, you wonder. Oh, I wonder if we're going to have uh, the toys show up, or wonder if we're going to have the uh, the food show up that we need to to do our program. We take care of about fifteen hundred people. Um, the gift is going to take care of so much more than 1,500 people. It's it's going to be an amazing event. I think it's going to be quite epic, to to, to be honest. I think the uh, uh, if we step up and, and become one as a as a community, I think that we can uh, change change the way Chatham is feeling right now and and give them that Christmas they need and not take it away from them. And, and I think that uh, you know, touching on all the points that. The community needs this more than ever. Uh, you know, Brent touched base on, you know, all the things that we've lost in the last six months. Um, and as a community, we might, we might not be able to gather, but as a community, we can come together and unite. So I think that uh, us uniting for the greater cause of our community is something that's very special. And I think that uh, um, all the parts are in place to make it, uh, um, you know, instead of a, a Christmas talk, talked about for negative reasons, a, a Christmas talked about for epic reasons. Well said. A great army standing here virtually in front of me, actually, right now. <laughs> and now, uh, we, the moment we've all been waiting for, the now finding out what the gift is. But first, before we go, thank you guys for all you've been doing for Chatham Kent, uh, the Miracle May 16th Project, the gift. And uh, just keep continuing doing uh, what you do to make Chatham Kent a beautiful, beautiful place to live. Thank you, guys. Thanks for having thank us. You. Yeah, thank, thank you for your time. Let's do it. So it's go time. Are you ready to make the gift, the biggest thing that Chatham Kent's ever seen. We want to make the gift a huge success. The gift is for the less fortunate. We want to find the people that won't call in for help, as well as the people who do. The gift will be filled with, the gift will fill the cupboards of people that need it. it, it it'll bring them their next meal possibly. We don't know. They could be waiting for their next meal. We don't know this. Like the, the homeless, they, they don't have food coming in every day. Uh, they have to try and find it. So if we can if we can uh, send the, uh, the food and, and, and stuff like that to the people that need it, that's what we want to do. That's what the gift is all about. Uh, if we can feed the, the poor, the homeless, uh, people that are having a hard time just, just to make, uh, make things uh, meet. Our Christmas program are uh, all working together. Chatham can't have to uh, come together for the first time to make sure that we succeed in our missions, as well as find the people in our communities that need the help. As one big family, Chatham Kent will come together and the gift will explode. We need you to spread the word. The gift is here, now let's deliver it.